Okay, I don't speak here. For as long as I can remember, I was obsessed with the idea of a successful career. The thought of making money so I could drive a nice car and live in a nice place, like here in Marin, like here or Hawaii, motivated me to dream big and aspire to be a doctor. But as I have matured, I have realized that as appealing as a successful career sounds, going through nearly a decade more of school isn't something that would truly make me happy. I've heard from a numerous amount of people that your 20s are the best years of your life. It's you versus the world. It's a time to travel and experience life and primarily find your passion. If you were to ask me a year ago what my passion would be, it would be medicine without a doubt. I was always hesitant to the thought of long school hours and the demanding schedule, but the thing that came to mind is that will pay off in the long run. Now I ask myself the question, is it really worth it? eight more years of school after you graduate from college and three of those years dedicated to residency. Spending some of the best years of my life with my nose hidden behind a book dedicated to something that I'm only really doing for the money. How is any of this supposed to make me happy? Passion is a complex word. It is commonly described as a strong sense of emotion, but there is no limit on the emotion or reason at hand. I believe you can be passionate about a surplus of things, but it only takes one of those things to truly set your mind free. That's what I will be talking about today. Something that makes me excited, but also nervous. The thought of going out in the world and experiencing things for yourself. That you are able to, give a, to get a feeling that you have never felt before. I asked myself this question the other week. How do I want to remember my life when I'm older? It is a very broad question to consider, but it got me thinking. I'm a person who loves to do things with a purpose. And when there is no purpose behind it, what's the point of even doing it? I want to live my life with a purpose, whether it be something that gets me up every day or something that never makes me want to come home. We get so worried about being happy that we end up missing out on happiness altogether. Stop waiting for that magical moment of pure bliss and start enjoying whatever little fragments of happiness you can find. It's the rainy night spent curled under the blanket with a good book. It's the feeling you get in your stomach when you walk so hard. It's licking cookie dough off your fingers. It's the solo dance parties in your room at 3 a.m. It's the little moments. That's what life's all about. I miss going. There is something truly invigorating about the unknown. The places you can go to, the people you can meet, and the memories you can make. It may not seem like it, but high school is such a small part of our lives. These four short years may be the best or even worst years of your life, but it all comes down to what you make of it. I think the next two years of our life at Drake is a perfect time to discover what we, what we could potentially fall in love with at college. There are so many different opportunities during high school that a lot of us don't take advantage of, and I truly believe that they could end up helping us for the future. So start now. Start finding yourself and finding your passion. That one thing that gets you up in the morning and never makes you want to come home. The special thing that makes you tick, because when we graduate, life begins 